So I get distracted quite easily, as you may know. Uh, and I saw Traxlander's video on the spawning blocks. For uh, it's amazing. I watched that video and I had so many ideas for just cool things you could do with it. Um, as you can see here, I've got quite the testing going on. But anyway, here's something I just made now. You could, it's wireless redstone, really simple, stupidly simple actually. So I've got here a binary counter. It's going to count from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. And it's going to transmit from here to there. So flick up the switch. And boosh, check that out. So, yeah, look, the hovering and stuff. Anyway, I came across a cool way to um, read the transmitted messages by spawning torches on top of pistons. And it's an almost instantaneous output. Well, not really, it's 1.5 ticks, but still, you get the idea. Um, now, this is clocking pretty fast. Uh, I think it could possibly go a little bit faster. Although, probably only one tick faster. But still, um, I'll pause it now. So, as yet, you can see it's, it's working, it's wireless redstone. And it's not gimmicky as well, it, it, it is actually wireless. Anyway, how it works, um, Traslander's video, he, he released a MC Edit filter which allows you to set um, spawn locations and destinations of falling sand entities which uh, can be anything as you saw with the torches, I was spawning torches so um, uh, you're going to have to download this plug filter but um, spawning at, well right here actually I'll show you here. so this here is a, a minecart being spawned by a spawn underneath it um, and inside the minecart is a torch this torch is actually a redstone torch spawner and actually here's a better example I'll break this block here so now this torch, wait no that won't work because it's a, oh no, there we go so as you saw I spawned a, a falling sand entity which was a torch and it fell and then landed on here now uh, the torch falls directly onto this block here and due to the awesomeness of torches it will push the piston so that way I'm transmitting redstone signals wirelessly uh, that's all I have really for this video but I'm working on numerous other things I saw this and I just kind of scribbled down in my notebook heaps of ideas um, that one there is a piston based memory cell or no, uh, spawner based memory so it's uh, it's think uh, t hard drive tape based memory but we swap the two uh, blocks around this here instead of swapping the two blocks it directly replaces them although I was an idiot and I didn't really remember how spawners worked so I this is a, me wondering why the hell nothing's working then I face palmed afterwards but uh, as you can see here, this replaces the wall block with glass. So, wall block, glass block. And then this will be rotating, you'll be reading off it and writing to it and whatnot. And the cool thing about this is you could actually have um, multiple write and read heads. So you could be writing to three locations or four locations on the memory drum at once and reading them all. Um, I've also got a bigger project. As you can see there, it's me working out high density spawners that, that still spawn. And that's going all right. Uh, you'll probably see a pretty big video on that. That's It, it will be cool. Very cool. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, video, you could download this. I should. Actually, no, no download, unless you want it. Now I will. So, goodbye.